okay so i guess we are live now let me just quickly check the sound today's topic is my mantis bug tracker okay so the sound is good so here we are mantis bug tracker i'm going to talk about this okay so uh, since last few days we have actually started this series but uh, due to some of my personal reasons i couldn't uh, i couldn't join you since last 3 uh, 3 to 4 weeks okay so this is a software testing series okay wherein we every saturday come live at 10 am and we discuss lot of things about the software testing okay and uh, i have also told you that uh, whenever i make any notes here i share these notes the text documents and all of the documents related to today's session so i share that with you and if you want to get those uh, study material you can just uh, join this telegram group you can either search for scripting logic and join this otherwise uh, i will also give you the link for it okay for example this is the link this i think i have copied in the related to uh, this link i uh, you will get it in the description right otherwise uh, you will get this to this notes as well okay so today we are going to talk about mantis bug tracker so in the last session we have seen uh, some uh, softwares and how to do testing on it how to write test cases on it we have also seen one of the tool test link right maybe in some session we will talk deeper into that uh, deeper with uh, about that so today we are going to see this bug tracker so if you are living a life of a tester so bug will be an essential part of your life okay so whenever you are doing a testing you will find bugs and you will have to report it maybe to developer immediately or maybe to uh, you know uh, your manager or test lead whoever is the concerned person so in some organization you maintain the bugs in the form of excel sheet and some organization you maintain bugs in some tools okay so tools are different tools are like uh, bugzilla then uh jira maybe test link is also there and some other tools are there but these are quite more and more popular tools bugzilla or jira so thing is that jira is not a free tool you can still see its trial version and just play around with it uh, and bugzilla is uh, free but uh, it's not that simple to set up but still in some sessions we will uh, go through these two tools as well and apart from this there are few more tools mantis i believe it is quite easy to set up and uh, you can write the test cases in that also easily sorry the bugs you can write inside it very easily okay so before i show you how to get this set up and install it on your machine so let's discuss one of the bug so let's suppose i found a bug for example let's suppose this is a login page okay so just one second i'll open a login page this is a login page and if i enter correct username and correct password and click on login button so instead of going to the dashboard i'm getting the error message here so this is a bug very simple bug so for reporting this bug there could be a bug template here 
okay so in different organization you will get different bug uh, reporting template if you just search on google you will also get some bug report template okay let's pick up anyone bug remote uh, report template in excel we'll search like this in excel hmm. so here you see uh, effective bug report title at least it should have title or bug ID then environment details steps to reproduce uh, reproduce the bug expected result actual result and visual proof means like screenshot of the bug severity and priority let me quickly show you how we used to report the bugs almost those were uh, these were the fields we used to maintain in an Excel so suppose this is the Excel sheet and let's say bug ID bug ID then let's say environment let's say steps to reproduce let's say data or test data expected result actual result severity and priority screenshot okay like this the fields would be there So bug ID, so let's say uh, zero, uh, 101, environment, let's say stock.scriptinglogic.net and steps to reproduce. Let's say go to login page. enter username enter password click on login button okay test data maybe you will add username as admin password also admin ok expect the result that we should reach to the home page we should reach to the home page and actual result there is error okay so what is the severity severity is high okay priority can be decided by the developer as per its uh, as per its schedule so priority also also high because this is a showstopper bug and screenshot you can maintain so what how we used to maintain screenshot like this so let's suppose this is the screenshot saving this at some place that excel sheet also we need to save it some place so for example today is 23rd april i'll just write here bug report a folder i have created and here i'm creating one folder called screenshot 
okay and here I'll give the bug ID 101 and save it into this folder okay similarly I will save this Excel sheet as well somewhere around nearby the screenshot folder bug report here I'll write here bugs okay so here let me write some text in the screenshots and let me hyperlink this with the screenshot we have okay this is how you can just hyperlink the screenshot you can just click on it and the screenshot will open right so this is how I'm uh, we will maintain the bugs in case if you are using the excel sheet fine so if you are using the mantis bug tracker let's see how to report this but along with understanding how to report the bugs in the mantis bug reporter bug tracker we will also understand how to install it on our machine okay because you will understand how to work with it but if you don't have that application with you you cannot practice so in order to make you uh, this mantis available on your local machine I'm just going to demonstrate to you few steps with the help of which you can have this mantis on your local machine and you can do the testing of it fine so it is simple just search on Google for mantis BT mantis bug tracker you will get its official website just open this and you will get it set up to download okay this is the latest version of this mantis download this again click on download okay so I'll just give you the direct links of the mantis okay so download mantis from its official website okay so to install mantis we will need XAMPP okay so XAMPP is a web server wherein you can host the web based applications developed in PHP most probably so I would recommend you to download this XAMPP 7.3 version okay even on 8 version it will also work but uh, I have that XAMPP 7.4 version and this is quite a little bit com compatible so you can just go to its official website just one second so this is the download link this I am download download which version 7.4 okay 7.4 version and install on your machine now no matter what operating system you have this XAMPP will be available for Windows as well as Linux as well as Mac you can just download you will get the direct link when you will go to this download page you will get the direct link corresponding to your operating system that you have okay so once you download you will have to install this while installation you just have to uh, keep all default settings as it is keep on clicking on next 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 and it will be installed okay it is not a big deal just like you download and install any other softwares you have to install it that way then uh, 
once you install it it will be available in your program file somewhere you may search for XAMPP ok so somewhere here I think I have this XAMPP ok not here or maybe on desktop you will get the icon ok if not if not and most probably you will not get any uh, a direct icon here what you have to do is you have to go to its installation folder ok you will not get any shortcut you have to go to its installation folder its installation will happen on C drive by default in case if you haven't changed it so you will have to go to C drive there will be a folder XAMPP open that and in this folder you will see uh, an icon XAMPP control an orange icon XAMPP control so this icon we need ok you can send it to desktop or create shortcut ok that way I have added it on the desktop ok so XAMPP control panel so once you have this on your desktop or maybe you can directly also open from the XAMPP folder just double click and open it and you when you will see this here you have to click on the start button of the Apache okay this will turn into a green color fine this is one thing apart from this you should also have MySQL installed on your machine okay install my SQL the latest version is 8 ok 8 or whatever version you have ok so how to install a MySQL you will get a lot of videos uh, around YouTube you, you can just search and download and install this MySQL and it will be good uh, if you keep your password as root ok this is on your local machine you can set any password to your MySQL but uh, you know while installing my PC has the password root so that you should not get confused whenever I am putting that uh, password as root so you should not get confused so keep your password also root otherwise you can keep the other password as well but uh, make sure that while uh, setting or using the password of the database you write there accordingly ok so this is done right this we will uh, install the XAMPP and we will have this MySQL over here then let's go back to the Mantis bug tracker let's copy downloaded zip file of the mantis copy downloaded zip file of the mantis to the samp ht docs folder ok means there will be a folder in xamp called htdocs ok you have to go there and copy this where you have downloaded maybe in the downloads folder so go to your downloads folder ok recently you might have got this mantis bt this is a zip file so copy this and paste it to your c drive xamp and uh, htdocs ok so don't directly paste first uh, create one folder so you may not see these many folders I have added so many different project so I can see uh, you can see the, uh, there are a lot of different folders so I'll just create a folder I'll call this as mantis ok so inside this I will paste this and then I will extract the files here ok 
it's, there is a folder but I will bring all the files outside I, means these files I want immediately inside this folder mantis okay that's it so we are good now if you have properly installed this ZAM and if you have started this uh, Apache then open a browser and type here localhost hit enter you should see this page so if you are seeing this page it means that your ZAMP is properly installed over here okay now the folder inside this HT docs I have created its name is mantis so what you can do is type here localhost slash mantis enter now you will get this installation window okay so this is the installation window of mantis so scroll a little bit here you have to provide the information about your database okay type of database mysql hostname localhost username root password is also root database name okay so database I have not uh, created here so you can create from your mysql so let's say mysql I will open here okay so look at this this is the mysql whose password is root so root and you have to create a database here so I will create database like this create database okay so mantis semicolon okay I think uh, this uh, database already there so I'll give some other name so mantis1 okay you can give mantis in case that database is not there in my uh, SQL this mantis is there so I'm giving some other name mantis1 okay so use the same name here database name mantis1 okay so keep this blank this and keep all this uh, setup or the options as it is click on install upgrade database okay everything is good and uh, now go to the bottom I think it is installed so mantis bt was installed successfully click on continue and if here we are next time when you will type here localhost slash mantis but make sure that your ZAMP is on hit enter you will get the login window here okay make sure that your Apache is started and you can see this mantis bug tracker here okay so now here uh, you have to use the default passwords later on you can change username and password so let me give you the default username password default username and passwords are username is administrator and password is root okay administrator and root so let's type the same administrator and password root login so yes we are successfully logged into this mantis here fine so now let's understand what options we have how we can use this software right so immediately when you will log in so it is asking us to change the administrator password because it is so simple so type here current password new password confirm new password and write your email okay this is optional maybe I will uh, write some email so let's say amol at scriptinglogic.net or whatever it is then access level you are administrator you can update the user ok 
okay but here you have to fill up the deal so let's uh, that's okay I'll keep this as it is okay so you can just check check here what is preferences so uh, this is your account preferences uh, when you should get emails so it is related to that then manage columns and these are also some administrative uh, administrative uh, fields you can see so you can see issues column you can see print issues column a CVS column Excel com column so these are the things we will uh, just come come to this now because in order to understand this we should have some bugs with us so these are the things you have and then you you'll see profile and API token okay so API token is actually for uh, this project you can use as a rest API project as well okay so in case if you want to do the API testing you can use for that purpose also here you can see profiles okay so you can see profile it is in short uh, the platform you have so different platform or different um, uh, you can say environment you have so let's say platform I'll say here Java operating system Windows 10 okay and you can uh, write some description and you can add a profile okay similarly you can add few more profiles as well okay maybe you can write here PHP and Windows 10 okay, add a profile some other profiles you can have here with different combination right so this is the administrative uh, activity now from here you can invite the users okay because just a single user will not work you, you should have multiple users to work with fine so here you will create the users in short fine so so remember we are in the manage tab so let me create some user over here uh, let's say I will create username as uh, username as let's say Akash real name is also Akash okay here you have to write the correct email ID otherwise what will happen uh, uh, your password has to be generated and it will be generated through email only so write your email here and access level reporter report is is generally given for the tester okay maybe some uh, manager or ad updater you can give to some higher level authority and administrator can do everything okay I'll just keep this to reporter only and let's say create user okay so user is created the Akash user is created here you can see uh, the user created in the manage user section okay maybe just uh, you click on this and you'll see two users are here administrator and Akash okay so now you see Akash uh, does not have any uh, password right now right so to log in with Akash we will have to do a little bit more efforts but that's okay we'll just see uh, how to deal with this uh, quite a later so let me just uh, start working with some projects so let's see different options what we have so summary in summary uh, you'll see what projects you have uh, uh, you'll see your bug details or your whole application details about your projects and everything so this dashboard will be also uh, uh, we will not just understand because we don't have any data so I'll just quickly take you through this is the roadmap this is the change log view issues issues are also we don't have reported any as such so we don't have anything and this is your view okay everything is blank because nothing is there here so I've just recently created this mantis application and one user is added that's it okay so what is the next step immediately you have once you have this mantis bt so next step is to create a project because you have to report a bug and in one single application you can have multiple projects over there okay so here you see all projects okay 
means you can uh, see all the projects so let me just uh, add any projects over here okay so from administrator I will just create a project okay let me see go to this manage okay you can see manage user and there is another a field called manage projects here so click on this and here we'll create a new project so click on this cl create new project so this project name is let's say stock management system okay stock management system you can set its status as it is under development or maybe it is uh, in the release or in stable okay so you can just keep its status whatever it is so its view status is public or private private means only a limited people will be able to uh, watch its activities means bug reported and the other things a description let's say this is used for stock management okay, just like you can write like this and say add project okay project is successfully added now uh, you can add users to this project also okay so if you just open this project you can see its sub project is there you can add this project under some category okay so you can create a different categories now you can add a category okay you can add its version also and you can manage the accounts here okay you can add user to the project as well okay you can add a user to project for example this Akash so Akash and its access level you can decide from here so maybe it will be a manager okay and add a user so this user is added to uh, this project uh, maybe uh, now Akash can also access this so here you see all projects and currently the stock management system is there so when the Akash will log in and uh, he'll be only able to see uh, the stock management system okay uh, maybe I we I don't rightly don't have the access to the Akash account because its password is not yet created so let's see the other options here so this is the stock management and now you can see a report issue this option is appeared here earlier it was not there report issue and view issue so just click on this report issue okay so you can just uh, select a category you can create a lot of different cat category so what is its reproducibility okay so when this bug occurs so let me just show you this bug that we have recently added so we will try putting it here so what is its reproducibility so when this bug appears so does it come always sometimes or random so let's say always it comes always so what is the severity severity is let's say high so um, you can say major here priority is let's say high select a profile so it is Java project okay and uh, to whom you are going to assign so let's say there will be a developers list also maybe you will select a developer and you will add it, uh, assign it to the developer now write the summary of the project okay maybe the summary will be uh, in short the description of this project uh, sorry in short the description of this uh, bug here so bug is the bug is let's say there is error message even with valid credentials okay there is error message even with valid credentials okay here you can write the description we have entered the valid credentials still there is an error as wrong username and password or password okay still there is an error so what are the steps to reproduce this okay 
so open login page okay maybe you can give a direct URL for uh, bringing the ease to the developer open login page then second step is enter username as admin third enter password as admin fourth step click on login button click on login button okay and you can observe result so let's say we should land on home page this is additional information we should land on home page but we got the error as shown in screenshot okay so you can attach the screenshot you can upload the file over here okay so where I've showed it so D drive So I've taken the screenshot and the screenshot is stored over here. Okay. And uh, then you can submit the issue. Uh, you have the tags over here. Right. So you can add some tags. Maybe error message. Comma. Like that. Okay. I think I have... Uh, hit the enter button so uh, this bug is uh, saved here ok you can see it will appear like this so bug id is 0001 the project is stock management category general reported in admin assigned to the Akash and it will look like this and this is the screenshot if you just click on it it will be expanded ok and you can just go back right so this will be one of the bug over here you can see now my view so one bug is here okay you can see bug id you can directly jump from this right so like this you can add keep on adding the different bugs so that you will get a uh, lot of different bugs added to this right and uh, then you can just sort the bugs you can do various uh, uh, you can download the bug reports also right so let me just quickly show you view issues uh, from here you can download the report also so so currently only one report we have so you can download the CVS rep, uh, version of it or let's say Excel you can download but this downloads XML not the Excel so better get this CSV and you can see it's all of the details here okay stock management reporter updated as summary status reproducibility everything you will get here okay so this was the basic idea of how this mantis can be installed and how can you report a bug into it fine so now what we will do is we will add few more bugs into it at least two to three bugs we will add here okay so let's uh, find out some bugs here what to add there might not be any bugs but let's see I'm just logging I'm doing a manual testing I'm okay so I'm here and let's say I click on add customer or let's say I click on add supplier 
I know there is some bug so go to this view supplier you will get the supplier list and if you click on add customer and view customer here you will get uh, the customer details ok so I will go to the add customer let me try to add a customer with some random contact number ok so it is still taking ok if I try to add the text into the contact field it is uh, it is not giving me correct error message or what so let me just try to add some num name so let's say Vikas 1234 and contact number is the text click on add it is still added ok so this is a bug we have ok so this is the bug I am taking a screenshot of it file save as let's say 102 and now this is the next bug so go to the mantis and say report issue ok so reproducibility let's say always ok and uh, severity is severity you can say it is not a major uh, it can be a minor priority is normal priority you select a profile PHP windows uh, let's assign to Akash summary is summary you can say that number field accepts the strings accept the text ok description so add client form has contact number field and it accepts text as well ok it accepts text as well ok steps to reproduce uh, login to the application with valid credentials then click on add customer link then add or uh, let's say enter name as some text it should be new name enter contact number one as text click on add button ok additional information there should be an error message there should be an error message that please enter number but the records is added ok this is what it is happening fine and you can attach a screenshot here so let me attach a screenshot another screenshot this should not happen here I submit the issue Issue is submitted, you can see the issue here. 
you can see the priority icons are different over here so you can see severity minor major okay summary you can see in short there is a error message even with valid credentials so you can just click on it and you can see the steps okay just one second so this is the previous issue uh, number field accepts the text this is the another issue that I have reported so you can see its date and time also automatically captured and uh, you see date submitted last update and these are the steps you can see and you'll see the screenshot over here okay you can just open the screenshot fine it is like this getting this so this is how you can report different different bugs over here and this is how uh, you can have this mantis on your own machine fine so the other bug reporter uh, uh, bug reporting tools are more or less quite similar to this mantis only right so if you don't have exposure to the other tools you can start with this mantis tool this is quite easy to install easy to set up and you can start working with this fine okay so that's all about this today's video if you feel that this has added some knowledge into your uh, uh, knowledge within you then uh, please like this video share this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel fine and we will meet on next Saturday with a new manual testing topic okay so till then have a nice weekend ahead and we'll meet in the next uh, session on next Saturday make sure that uh, if you want today's notes uh, what you have to do you have to just join this telegram group you can just search on telegram for scripting logic otherwise uh, this link I'll just shortly add it into the description fine so thank you very much and have a nice